Uh, let's get started right now with news you can use for today, the 21st of June, 2022. Uh, I'm going to go through just a um, kind of a simple explanation, a real world explanation of how inflation is affecting everybody. Um, just get kind of put a personal face and feel to this thing. Uh, inflation last month came in at 8.3 or 8.6% on an annual basis was the number. And uh, that was a, a shock to everybody that was still that high. Everybody was thinking that we'd started to dampen it down. In fact, it is right now at an all-time high. So I expect more action out of the Fed going forward in terms of bigger interest rate increases and that type of thing. But how does that affect everybody on a daily basis? You know, you hear about the cost going up, but sometimes when we're used to paying a little bit more over a longer period of time, we don't think of it that way. Uh, we just think of it as kind of a short-term pain in, pain in the butt and have to deal with it. Uh, but in uh, where I'm from, in Central California, originally from, uh, there's a, a, a fruit stand that I've gone to for years. Uh, it's run by this older gentleman. And he has the history and the reputation of growing the best fruit and produce, or at least sourcing it. Um, it's kind of a roadside stand type deal. And for years, I've gotten cantaloupes there. He has the best cantaloupes. Uh, cantaloupes are grow in, in Central California, but they really grow from about July through November. Uh, prior to that, he has sourced, prior to that in the year, he would source his cantaloupes from uh, primarily Yuma, Arizona and uh, deep Southern California, uh, where they grow them. Uh, cantaloupes are, you know, if you ever, if you never had a fresh, you know, right off the farm cantaloupe, you should, it's, it's like awesome. Anyway, I've gone there the last couple of months looking for some cantaloupes and, and uh, he said, I just haven't been able to get them. My normal vendor has not been able to ship them to me. And so we spent a little time talking last week because you know, he always has them in there by the end of April, 1st of May. And, and he says, I won't have any till July this year when the local produce starts coming in. I said, how come? He said, because of inflation. I said, explain that. How is that, uh, how's that affecting your supply of cantaloupes? He says, you know, it's, it's a downstream effect and it starts with one thing. And he says, basically my trucker, the tr only trucker that I can find that will haul uh, those loads of cantaloupe from Arizona up to California uh, cannot afford to pay for a tank of gas or ga a tank of diesel to run his truck. And he's got to make two or three trips to get up here. And he said, normally in June, I make enough on my cantaloupes to pay for my car payment and my power bill on my house for the entire year. He says, this year I've sold no cantaloupes. So I've got to figure out another way to pay for my car bill, my payment on my car and my payment on my uh, gas and electric bill. He said that was my source for the entire year, just what I made on cantaloupes in June. He said I budget a particular month and a particular vegetable, uh, you know, with one of his bills over it. It's a good way to think about things. So he says, I can't do that now because I was able to get no cantaloupes. Uh, the trucker, he said, in turn, because he couldn't even afford to fill his truck with high priced inflation addled uh, diesel costs, was unable to make those two or three trips. He said, that trucker uh, made enough on those two or three trips to take his family on vacation in the fall every year. This year, that trucker can no longer go uh, on vacation because he didn't make the money by making those two or three hauls of uh, produce for me from Arizona to California. And the farmer who would always grow these cantaloupes down in Yuma, Arizona, has a field full of rotting cantaloupes because his uh, user, his buyer, me, couldn't get a truck down there. So he said that farmer lost tens of thousands of dollars in planting and getting the cantaloupes all the way up to the point of harvest only to let them rot in the field. So there's a real life example where one domino effect, one domino falls and everything else is affected. The trucker just couldn't afford the, the doubling or tripling of, of cost to fill his tank with diesel, even if he was going to get it uh, covered. And, and the the produce stand manager owner said, listen, I could have covered extra cost. I could have passed that on because my clients would pay $2 for a cantaloupe instead of a dollar for a cantaloupe. They would have done that easily. And I said, I certainly would have. Uh, but he said, at the end of the day, the trucker, the individual uh, one man show trucker just couldn't afford 
you know, the extra thousand or two thousand dollars out of his pocket to fill the truck with gas, with fuel. And so that's a domino effect. This affected minimum of three people, uh, three families, actually the farmer's family, the trucker's family and the produce stand owner's family um, and other bills that are going to cause a financial ripple. So I can tell you, uh, and I've been in farming my whole life. I'm a fifth generation California farmer. I can tell you that uh, you know, you can lose everything in the farming industry. You can put all of your costs in, you can get the crop right to the point of harvest, and then you get no income. And that's a, that's a hard pill to swallow, but it is part of the farming deal. Uh, this trucker, like I said, uh, he, was, he was able to take his family on a little vacation to Disneyland in the fall every year, just off the produce he hauled during uh, May and June. He's not going to be able to do that this year. And the produce stand manager uh, has to find another way to pay his car bill and his power and gas and electric uh, bill. So that is a real life, actual effect of inflation. And like it or not, that is the world that we live in today. So expect you'll see the downstream effects or the upstream, however you want to look at that, of this inflationary spiral over the next few months to half a year, uh, you'll see these kinds of things, you know. Uh, at some point, you're gonna see the power companies not getting their payments in on time. You're gonna see pay people fall behind in their car payments. You're gonna see uh, entertainment venues like Disneyland have less traffic. Uh, and then whatever the farmer would have spent his, you know, profit on or at least covered his expenses, uh, you know, has to come from another source now. So. It's um, it's a scary deal out there. When you look at it, you actually dive deep into it and you can see what inflation is doing. All right, that is our news you can use for today. Sorry, it was all bad news, but at least everybody has a handle. I think hopefully a, a good feel for how inflation can affect you individually.